when you have an environment that is constantly reminding you, watch your mindset, love yourself, think about what you're doing. What are your actions today? What positive thoughts do you have moving through your brain? And it sounds so cheesy. I get it. I know. But when you're in an environment and you're surrounded by other people who are going through very similar hardships as you, and you're reminded of it every day, pounding into your brain day after day after day, it starts to change you. What's up, everyone? If you're looking to be inspired, motivated, educated, and entertained, you have come to the right place. Welcome to the Bob Mom Podcast, the podcast where we explore your fitness, life mindsets, and actions that help you become unstoppable. You're worth it, and it's time to finally make changes in your life that will last you the rest of your life. Hey everyone, welcome to the Bomb Mom Podcast. I am Melissa Vogel, your host. Today, you guys just get me. I'm so excited to be able to take over the mic and talk to you guys because we're gonna talk all about the daily reminders that you need to hear to help you survive the holidays, but also to really just survive life in your fitness journey. But if you are brand new to the show, welcome. I am so happy that you have chosen this one to be your first one to listen to. And if you are a returning listener, welcome back. Regardless, make sure you go back back and listen to all of the episodes because I want you guys to really get an understanding of what this show is all about, how the Bomb Mom podcast is different, a little bit about my fitness journey, my story, and how your health, wellness, fitness, weight loss, muscle, everything is connected to your mind, to your nutrition. There isn't just one key that fits in the door and unlocks it. It's everything. So make sure you go back listen to as many episodes as you can, but this is a great starting point too. Couple housekeeping things, make sure you guys rate and review this episode. It's really important. Like do it right now as you're listening. (laughs) Hit pause, go back, hit five stars, leave me a review. It's really, really important for the show and it really helps me out. And then also make sure you check out the show notes. A lot of people forget about show notes on podcasts. It always amazes me go in and look because that's where I'm going to put the links to book a call with me. If you're interested in becoming a bomb mom, we always have swag. We have bomb mom swag available. So if you want to order that and we always have sales going on, any links to any products that I talk about in the episode, go to the show notes, click on those links, use those discount codes. So make sure you go back there. Always look. I think we have a sale coming up too for the bomb mom swag. So you're going to want to look that up and use that. Today we are talking all about, like I said, five daily reminders that are going to help you survive the holidays. And that's what I was going to title this show. But then I'm like, you know what? It's not about just surviving the holidays. It's about surviving (laughs) your best life ever and really surviving your fitness journey because you don't want to start something and you're not a survivor in it. And you didn't survive that boot camp. You know, you didn't survive that challenge. You didn't survive starting something and finishing it. And I want you to survive. And that's a powerful word because there's survivor. Like think about what you, what comes to mind when you hear the word survivor, someone who's overcame, right? Someone who was like the last man standing. I keep thinking of an island and someone like was on an island and they survived. Like imagine what they went through. And I don't want you to look at like your fitness journey is like, yeah, I'm a survivor. I'm still here. I want it to be more powerful than that. But I'm still going to use that word. I'm still going to use the word survivor. And think about if we found someone stranded on the ocean. Yeah, I guess they could be stranded on the ocean. I was thinking more island. Either way, um, imagine what they have been through for them to finally get picked up by a boat or a ship and the stories that they would have to tell and to talk about what they went through. And here they are, they survived. And that's what I want to happen for you guys. I want you guys to have this story and this journey of like, this is where I'm at today. And this is what I went through. 
this is what I survived and I'm still standing bitches. <laughs> like that's what I want for you guys in your health and fitness journey. And I know it sounds so crazy and I know a lot of people tune into fitness podcasts and YouTube videos and we're always searching for something and we're like, no, I just got to get rid of these saddlebags. You know, what's the best lunge to do for that or squat or how do I get six, six pack abs in six days? And it's, it's a joke. I refuse to be a part of that world in the fitness industry because there's so much more to it. And when you can learn, like today, the five daily reminders that I'm going to give you of how to be a freaking survivor, when you can learn those and you can apply them to your life and be like, you know what? I heard Melissa say this on a podcast one day, you're going to make it. You are going to unlock the deadbolt that's been stuck on your mind and your body and everything and everything's going to get unlocked. And then you're going to flourish and it's just going to be amazing. And people are going to look at you and be like, how did you do it? How did you go from that? I remember seeing you three years ago and you look nothing like what you look like now. How did you do it? And you're going to have this incredible survivor story. And it's just, it's what's going to lead you and be who you are because you're going to change your identity. You're going to change how you think, how you feel, how you dress, how you act, everything. By taking these reminders that I'm going to give you today and these tips, everything else from this podcast, that's why I say go back and listen. You're going to take everything that you listen, you're going to start applying it. And then if you're a mom and you're listening to this and you're serious, you really want it to stick, maybe becoming a bomb mom is for you. And in January, I'm going to give you guys a little teaser right now, in January... I am going to do a free five day like bomb mom boot camp for you guys. It's free. It's totally free. I'm going to put you in a group. You're going to be in a private group, have access to me, and we're going to train together. I'm going to have this huge giveaway. Some of our sponsors, we're going to have like this huge basket giveaway. So keep an eye out for that. Okay. You are definitely going to want to sign up for that. Keep an eye out. I'm just giving you a little teaser now. But if you need help to have that survivor story, if you need help to make it stick. This is how I'm actually going to do it. If you need help to actually lose that weight, you know, and the logistics of it, like to actually lift, if you need help of like how to fucking lift, how to really eat. Maybe if you're a mom and a female and you're looking to like change, maybe becoming a bomb mom is a fit for you. Maybe getting on one of my app programs is a fit for you. If you're not a mom and don't want to join that, there's a lot of options, but that's why I would say check the show notes too. But That is why we have help and it's okay. And I'll dive into that too of why it's okay to have help. It's okay to have this culture that's going to surround you and help you. All right. So had to bring that up. I want to dive into these because I have five of them. And the very first one is so important for you to know, to constantly remind yourself, to not let it identify you. And the first one of these daily reminders that I want to remind yourself of and write these down too. You don't have to put any notes. You can literally just put one and then the topic and then two and then the topic. They will speak to you. You will know. Number one is you cannot change the past. I want you to really think about that. You can't change the past. There is no time machine that you can get into and it takes you back to the past and you can undo whatever you did. And that could be something huge. That could be like, You know, maybe you cheated on your spouse. Maybe you cheated on a test. Maybe you really lied. Like it could be like big things or it could be little things. It could be you can't go back and erase all the shit food you ate yesterday. That's in the past. You can't change it. So it doesn't matter how big or small. Remember, you can't change it. All you can do is move forward. And too many people live in the past the should have, the the I could have, oh, I, I would have. Like, yeah, hindsight 2020, it's a great thing to have, right? But you can't go back and change it. And that past, your past life, it doesn't fucking define you. It doesn't. I don't care how, what I'm saying to you right now and what's triggering you of like, oh God, yeah, that was a mistake or man, I should have or whatever. It doesn't matter how big or small it was. It still doesn't define you. Like, I don't care if you were involved in embezzlement and you cost 200,000 people to lose their jobs. It doesn't matter. It still doesn't define who you are because you can change, you can move forward. But many, 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 especially moms, they stay stuck and they're like, well, you know, 
I failed at this before, so I'm probably just going to fail again. Oh man, I continuously make bad decisions. And too many people let this just defy who they are. And then you label yourself. And then when that happens, you don't know who you are anymore. You don't know how to change. And then you don't move forward because you've put your own label on yourself and you've defined who you are. It's awful. And a lot of people think too, well, I couldn't do that before, so there's no way I can do that now. That's such BS. That is not true. But that leads people. You know how many people I see that like come into my program or they do one of my challenges or they just were a client and they say like, oh no, I've lost 20 pounds before. I I know I'm capable of getting it off. I want to get it off, but I've gained it back, you know. And I'm like, okay, let's go to work. Let's do this. You know, no matter what platform I'm working with them. And they get to a certain point and they know they're there and sometimes they hit their goals and they stay there and then they stop working with me or life happens or whatever and they go right back to who they were. And it's because they let their past drive the bus. They let their past define them. And it's because that's what happened in the past. We can't change it, but they are still letting it affect their future and it's their patterns. That's what they know. I lose weight, I gain it back. I lose weight, I gain it back. Because that's my past. That's what I know. That's what I do best. And so that's what I'm going to continue to do. Unless you break the cycle. And that's why I'm talking about this one. And that, that's why it's number one. Is because once you open your eyes to this and you realize how much you're letting your past affect your present and your future you have the ability to change. Like no more excuses then, no more excuses. Now you've opened your eyes to it. Now you're aware of it and now you can move forward. And another thing too about your past, this is another crazy thing, is that people have never done certain things before, right? So like example, many of the women that come into my program or people that become runners or or like, I don't know, any any kind of change. I'll, I'll use people coming into my program as an example. They come into my program and they want change. They want to become lean and strong and fit. And like, I want to be in that bathing suit. You know how many women tell me, I want to be in that bathing suit, but they've never done it before in their past. They don't know how to act, dress. Like if I just snap my fingers and was like, okay, you want a new body? Boom, here you go. And I'm like, here's this bikini, go put it on and go walk the beach. People wouldn't know how to do that. Now, some women might grab that from me, put that on, be like, oh my God, I'm so excited. And they're running down the beach and they're like, this is a thong. And you know, like they're all celebrating it. They're like super gung ho. And, and then other women would be like, oh my God, no, I can't, I can't do that. I can't grab that bait. Like I've never done that before because that's who they've been in their past. They only know the mom and the woman that covers up. And if they're the chick that grabs the bikini and throws it on and they're like, yeah, look at my boobs, look at my butt. Oh my God, look at my stomach. Melissa snapped her fingers and I got this new body. Guess what? Guess what? Since I just snapped my fingers and put her in a new body, she's going to fuck it up. (laughs) She's not going to maintain that body on her own. Let's go put her away. Go live your life. We'll meet up with you in about six months and we'll see what you've done with that body. Yeah. What do you think will have happened? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, she'll go back. She'll go back to who she was. She doesn't know how to maintain that body. She doesn't know how to eat to be in that body. She doesn't know how to love that body. She's got the same person in her head. So either way, either way, if I snap my fingers and you're a new person and you're the shy person, you're like, oh my God, I don't know how to do that because I've never done that before. Like my past is leading me like I'm scared. Or if you're the person that grabs it and throws it on and is like, yes, I'm going to show everyone my body. Either way, your past will come back and take control. It truly will. And you can't change your past. And it goes back to the very beginning. And everything that I was saying is that you can't change the past, but you can change your future. And you can not allow your past to define you, to dictate how you move forward, how you don't move forward. But what is important is that you don't live in that past. You don't let it dictate your results that you get, your mindset, everything. And I invite you guys all to really think about this, like get a pen and paper and really journal about this. Think about your past. How is it affecting your future? How are you still living in the past and let it dictating how you move forward and how you don't? 
This is really, really important. And that's why I say grab a pen, grab a paper, like journal about it, like let it all come out. Really think about how am I still beating myself up about these decisions that I've made? How is that person continuously showing up and how can I change it? That, my friends, is so important. Okay, let's move on to number two. Others' opinions do not define your reality. Really think about that. Take that in. Because everyone has got an opinion, right? There's that saying, like, an opinion's like an asshole. Everyone's got one. And it's true. Everyone is going to have an opinion about you, your life, your journey, everything. Everything. And guess what? Here's the thing that a lot of people don't talk about. Here's the thing about your fitness journey that a lot of people don't say. The more fit you get, the better in shape you get, the more you take control of your life. And I don't even mean like losing weight and all that stuff. I'm talking about just taking control of your life. The more you get your shit together, the less people will like you. How's that for a dose of reality? The more struggles you'll have with relationships and I'm here to tell you firsthand, it's okay to cut them. It's okay to let them go because honestly, do you really want to be involved with people? Today's episode is brought to you by Athletic Greens. I love talking about this product all year round because it's literally changed my life. I know people hear the ads and they're like, oh yeah, Athletic Greens. No, I'm serious. If you want to take your health in the right direction, this is the product to try. It costs less than $4 a day, and you're literally getting every vitamin, nutrient, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, adaptogens in one scoop. How can you put a price on your health? Less than $4 a day, and you get everything you need. All you do is take a scoop of it, dump it in water, shake it up, drink it, you've got it, and it doesn't taste disgusting. That's it. Tons of people are taking some type of multivitamin and it's important to choose one with high quality ingredients that your body actually absorbs. And AG1, it's a small micro habit with big benefits. It's one thing you can do every single day to take great care of yourself. And your subscription, when you guys sign up today, it comes with a year supply of vitamin D, which is so important to add in, especially during these winter months when we don't get as much sunlight. All it is is a little dropper. You're gonna get a free year supply worth with this. One drop on your tongue, that's it. That's all you need to do. You guys are gonna have better sleep quality, recovery, mental clarity, alertness, and it contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals or artificial anything and it still tastes good. And now is the time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. We are in cold and flu season, and I don't know about you guys, but I swear everyone is sick around us. It's just one scoop in a cup of water every day, that's it. There's no need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. And to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packets with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com forward slash bomb mom. Again, it's athleticgreens.com forward slash bomb mom. And then you can take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Whether they're friends or family, and that's hard, do you really want to be involved with people that aren't happy for you, that you're taking control and that you're losing weight, that you're feeling better, that you're looking better? Do you really want them in your life if they're not supporting that? Like, hell no. That's really hard to do. It's really hard to do. But you have to remember, everyone's going to have an opinion and you cannot let it define you. David Goggins says in his first book, Can't Hurt Me, if you haven't read it, it, read it. It's absolutely incredible. And one day, oh yes, one day I will have David Goggins on this podcast. Mark my word. He says in his first book, I loved it, it hit me so hard. He said, people will label what they don't understand. <laughs> How true is that? People will label what they don't understand. Do you have any idea how many labels I have been blessed with over the years? And I call it a blessing because it helps wake me up. It helps me become a better person. It didn't at the time, it really hurt. But, you know, I have been called psycho. Oh my God, she's obsessed. I actually did a whole episode on that. I've even been called a bad mom before that like I neglect my kids because I work out or I'm at the gym so much. I've been just called many, many things, eating disorders, like 
I've been called a savage, but I like the savage. I'm like, call me a savage all you want. (laughs) But it's true. If people don't understand what you're going through, they will put a label on it. And it's because they don't understand it. So they, their brain can't comprehend what you're doing. All their brain can comprehend is a label. So they smack a label on it. And guess what? It's none of your business what other people think of you too. That sounds mean. And that's not my saying, but it's true. What other people think of you, none of your business. Just think of it that way. But people go around and if someone says something mean to them, they let it define them. And it doesn't even have to be something mean. It could be a label or someone's opinion of you was that, oh, you're the smart sister, okay? Your other sister is the athletic one, and the other sister is the pretty one, right? That's their opinion. That's not facts. That's just opinions. But we let people's opinions that are not facts, and I do a whole episode on it, I actually do it with my daughter, about separating and learning how to separate facts from opinions, facts from feelings. But people let these opinions define who they are, and then they carry it with them for the rest of their life. My daughter went through volleyball tryouts and all this stuff, and I'm not going to go into the story, but at one point, one of the coaches looked at her, and they were like, you're small and you're weak. Oh my God, when she texted me that, because I wasn't with her, and then I saw her after and she told me that, I looked at her and I'm like, you listen to me. That is their opinion. That is not fact. And I would love to see you get on the mat and roll with them and then have them call you weak because you are strong and small in whose eyes? Like you're probably going to be as tall as mom and I'm no small fry. Now out of my, my, out of my kids, she'll probably be the shortest one but it's not even like defined as short. But I had to remind her, that's their opinion. That's not facts. And you are not gonna let that define your reality. And your reality is that you are strong, that you are tough, that you're quick. You got fast twitch, girl. (laughs) Fat twitch, fast twitch. And it doesn't matter. You can take in people's opinions if you want, you know, if you're strong enough and be like, hey, I'll take that into consideration. But you have to remember everyone's going to have an opinion. And the more you work and you get stronger and faster and more lean and you're losing inches around your waist, those opinions are going to come. And you have to remind yourself they don't define you. Never forget that lesson. Number three, positive thoughts cultivate positive actions. Amen. Positive thoughts cultivate positive actions. Okay, that sounds so good. And it's like, oh yeah, I'm going to put that on a sticky note and remind myself of that every single day. Well, here's the thing, okay? You can't just sit around and have positive thoughts, okay? Even though I'm saying positive thoughts cultivate a positive action. You can't sit around and just be like, I'm so happy and I love myself and, you know, good things are coming to me. Like, that's great. But you need to put some action in behind it. That's why I'm saying positive thoughts cultivate positive actions, actually moving and taking actions. Your thoughts and what goes through your head, I mean, we have thousands a day and it's hard to regulate every single one. But once you start identifying when negative thoughts come into the picture and you can be like, ah, okay, got to say four positive things now because of that one negative one, you really start changing everything about your life. And these positive thoughts that are constantly going through your head, they're going to help you have positive actions. That's what I mean. So the more you can control what you think, what's going on in your brain and your mindset, it's going to help you have positive actions. The more you have negative ones, let's say it's flipped. God, I'm so slow. God, I can't remember any names. I can never remember names. I'm so bad at names. God, I'm bad at math. I just don't have the energy. I'm just not motivated. People truly believe that. People say that all the time and they truly believe this and they say it over and over again. Guess what's going to happen? Guess what they cultivate? Negative actions. Their brain and their body is going to do whatever they need to do to support this. This is one of the main reasons why I have my program Busy to Bomb Fit Mom and I train and coach the way I do in a group. This is why, and this is one of the things I'm going to touch on in that free five-day boot camp uh, challenge that I'm going to run in January. When you have an environment that is constantly reminding you, watch your mindset, love yourself, 
Think about what you're doing. What are your actions today? What positive thoughts do you have moving through your brain? And it sounds so cheesy. I get it. I know. But when you're in an environment and you're surrounded by other people who are going through very similar hardships as you, and you're reminded of it every day, pounding into your brain day after day after day, it starts to change you and you start to change those thoughts. And then guess what? You start to help others change their thoughts. And before you know it, you're this aspiring person that people like look up to and that creates more positive thoughts and that creates more positive actions. So I'm not just saying think happy and you'll be happy. No, 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 no. Positive thoughts are going to help cultivate positive actions. And it's just, it's just one piece of the puzzle, but it's really important to see what direction your mind's going in. And like, don't get me wrong. I am not sitting here, you guys talking to you because I got my shit all figured out and I am like miss positive and I say all my daily affirmations and everything's great. Like, no, I'm on the struggle with this just as much as you guys are. I was just the other day. I literally like, I felt like I cried all day. I cried on a business call. Oh my God. And one of my coaches was with me and I, I just couldn't hold it back because someone looked at me, we we're on Zoom and she's like, you're overwhelmed, aren't you? And I just, I lost it. I needed our bomb coach, Julie, to talk me off the edge. I needed her to provide those positive thoughts because guess what? That cultivated positive actions by me. It's okay to need help. Again, this is why I train and coach the way I do. And she pulled me right out. So I'm not sitting here on my high horse telling you guys all these things. Like, I got this perfect life and I got it all figured out. I don't. I'm working through it. And I am way better than I was before. And that's all we're striving for is to just continuously get better. Now, all of this leads me to number four. Overthinking a problem will not solve the problem. These are your daily reminders, you guys. Number four, overthinking a problem will not solve a problem. And you know what fixes just about every single problem <laughs> while you're overthinking it? Massive activity. I tell my group that all the time. And th that's not a Melissa Vogel original thought. I, I'm pretty sure I heard Mel Robbins say that. But it's so true. And I've just adopted it into everything. Massive activity fixes everything. Getting up and taking action. You have bad thoughts going through your head? Massive activity. Have a million positive thoughts. Just like sing them out loud. Go, 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 go. Write them, write them, write them down. It's going to start fixing that problem. Can't work out? Overweight? Don't feel like it? Take action. Massive activity is going to fix everything. But what do most people do? And I'm guilty, guilty. I'm so guilty. Over, they overthink a problem. And when you overthink a problem over and over and over again, it's not going to solve the problem. But for some reason, we like to torture ourselves and just go over this problem over and over again and then beat ourselves up about it. And it's not going to solve it. Taking action will. You don't like how you look? Take action. You're eating like crap? Take action. I heard Tony Robbins say one time, what's the best way to take over an island? Burn the boats, right? Burn the boats. It's the same thing. What's the best way to take over your nutrition? Burn the boats. Stop bringing the freaking Oreos into your home. Don't go through drive through Make it, that's a non-negotiable. It's just something we don't do. That's a hard pass. Like, uh-uh, we don't do it. Burn the boat. It's not even an option. Sitting around today, not an option. You have to do at least two miles, three miles, like whatever your goal is. Missing the gym today, it's not an option. I don't care, Melissa, if you go to the gym and you're only there for 30 minutes and you just walk in, put your shoes on, and you just walk on that treadmill at a slow pace. By God, you fucking showed up. You walked through the gym doors. You got on a piece of equipment. You did it and you left. Hey, that's action. And that's a way better than sitting home. Way better. Don't sit around and overthink a problem because it's not going to solve the problem. Take action. It's a problem for a reason, right? And thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking, it's just going to make it worse and it's going to make you feel worse. What are your actions? What can you do to fix it and solve it? And again, I keep bringing this up, but it just keeps coming to my head. Like that's why I have the program Busy to Bomb Fit Mom and the environment because you know how hard it is to take action? 
<laughs> you know how it's so easy for me to be like, oh my God, you don't like the way you look? Just fix it. Like I can say that. Sure. But it's hard to get into activity. And in my program, that's why we stay connected because on a Sunday we can yell at someone, <laughs> not yell, but be like, it's, it's time. Get up. You missed Wednesday. Okay. Sunday's not a rest day anymore. Let's go. There's that accountability piece. There's that piece that helps you take the next step because it's not easy. And we have our past coming up and challenging us. We have other people's opinions challenging us. We have negative thoughts challenging us. Well, no wonder we sit and overthink problems and we don't take action, right? One, two, three, and four, like they all come together. So really, really pay attention the next time you're sitting there and just overthinking a problem and replaying in your head. Girl, that ain't going to solve the problem. Number five, you cannot make everyone happy. You can't. Remember this every day. No matter what you do, someone isn't going to be happy. And it's crazy how much we try, especially as moms. This is for everyone though. We try to make everyone happy. It's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. And every time you try to please everyone, you're just setting yourself up for failure. Know that what you do and the choices that you make, it's not going to please everyone. Someone's going to be unhappy. And hey, if there's a time where everyone's happy, wow, bravo, good for you. You did it. But no, that's probably not the case. And it's okay. It's okay. Your decisions are going to piss people off. What's crazy is that same decision is going to make someone so happy and so proud of you. It's nuts. There has been so many times that I have been in like a situation with my family and I have made a decision and I've taken action and like people were so happy and they're like, oh my God, I'm thrilled you're doing this. Like, great. Yes. Awesome. You know, and in the same breath, someone's so pissed that I did what I did. How could you? You're selfish, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm not going to go into detail, but, and I'm like, isn't that funny? Isn't that funny how the same decision made someone so happy and yet someone so mad at the same time? Screw that. Know that you cannot make everyone happy. It's impossible. And it all goes back to opinions because if someone is unhappy about what you're doing, they don't like what you're doing and they can give you five reasons why, but guess what? They're not facts. 99% of the time, those are just going to be opinions of why they don't like what you're doing. Not facts. It's just their feelings and their opinions. And other people's opinions do not define your reality. Don't you love how all five of these are connected, right? And, you know, when I taught and I post these on my Instagram story the other day, and I'm like, yeah, this is, message needs to be heard. And I know we all know this. I'm not providing like life-changing information right now, right? Like I'm not talking about something probably that you've never even heard before. But if me talking about all of these different topics today helps someone change how they're letting their past affect them, if it can help them walk away and not let other people's opinions bother them, if it can help them start having positive thoughts, so they take activity, if it can help them stop overthinking a problem and just fucking take action. And if it can remind someone, just anyone, any one of these things that you're not going to make everyone happy and that's okay. You do you boo. Then this podcast was a success. And these are the things that are going to help you survive the holidays for sure. But they're also going to help you survive life and this journey that you're facing. And if you are listening to this podcast right now, you're looking for change. You are looking to have different results. And it's not going to happen by getting a gym membership and showing up every day. I mean, yeah, you'll get, you'll get change for sure. But it's not ones that are going to last. They're surface. They're probably a Band-Aid. And I want to go deep. Take the Band-Aid off and let's go deep. And these reminders are going to help you do that. That's why I talk about it. These are the things that I go in my group. I have daily revs. Every day they see me live, pretty much every day. I didn't go live yesterday because my throat. But almost every day I go live and constantly reminding them of these things in just different ways. Things that come up in my life and what I'm faced with. I'm like, you guys, this is what just happened. And yes, I cried for the first five minutes, but then guess what I did? Then I started changing it and I reminded myself it's just their opinion and not fact. And like all these things come out. When you have these reminders and this team behind you to help you and grow, oh my God, 
That's why we see magic. That's why my program has reached and touched just hundreds of women's lives and they're changing and they're maintaining their change. That's what's really cool. So I hope this episode helped. I want everyone to survive the holidays, but I want everyone also to be a survivor on your fitness journey. I want to come rescue you from that island one day and be like, oh my God, how did you do it? And you're like, well, I let go of everyone's opinion. I stop haunting myself with the past. (laughs) I start doing more sit-ups. I learned how to fish and hunt really good. (laughs) Like all the things. I want to hear how you became a survivor. Shoot me a message, you guys. Follow me on Instagram. It's Melissa Vogel, I-T-S, Melissa Vogel. Also go to my website, melissavogelfitness.com. We have a lot of things on there for you too. Everything's linked with the podcast on there, but reach out to me. Shoot me an email, info at melissavogelfitness.com. Honestly, DMing me on Instagram is is the best because it just pops up right there and it's easy for me to do. Shoot me a message. I want to know what you think of this episode. I really do. I want to know what points I hit, what triggered you, what were you like, oh my God, you're so right, Melissa, I need to stop doing that. Reach out to me. We love hearing from you, even if it takes me a hot second. And then also keep your eyes peeled. It's coming. Probably in the next episode next week, I will have more information for you guys of how you can join this free five-day boot camp that we have coming up. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's so awesome. And I love offering things free for you guys to get in there. So Contact us, go to the website, melissavocalfitness.com, follow me on Instagram, and you're going to survive these holidays. You are going to survive the rest of your fitness journey, and you're going to keep going. I know it. I know it. So stay safe, stay healthy, everyone. Until next time. This podcast is designed to provide accurate and authoritative information in regards to the subject matter covered. This is given with the understanding that neither the host, practice of the practice, or the guest are providing legal, mental health, nutritional, or other professional information. If you need a professional, you should find one.